Yo, what is up? Uh, welcome back to another video. So today uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a different video, all right? We're gonna be uh doing a reaction video. So um yeah, also comment down below if you want me to like make a whole another like separate channel for this or something. But um yeah, let's just get straight into it. I don't want to keep you waiting. So yeah, this is called the story of Roblox's youngest millionaire. Uh, it's probably like like a uh, Haslam, I'm guessing. That's like the only rich person. A name that has undoubtedly become one of the most recognizable like figures in the Roblox oh, community yeah, virtually overnight. Famously yeah. known for his unique game oh, concepts and giving away okay, millions of dollars in Robux, this prodigy yeah. has shown just how quickly one can rise up the ranks yeah, to become bro, one of the rich. wealthiest and most respected developers on the entire platform, all at only 16 Yo. years old. This 16? is the story of Hazard. Wait, 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 wait. If Please Donate was created, like, a year or two years ago, that means that he... He could, so he he would he would be rich enough back then. So he would have been fifteen or fourteen when he made it. He would have been rich enough to buy a Tesla or something at the age of fifteen when he doesn't even have his life driver's license. That's crazy, bro. How's something? Roblox's youngest millionaire. Like many other promising developers, Hazem got his start on Roblox extremely early, releasing his first game at the age of only thirteen. Although I'm not sure if I should be. Calling him Hazem because this dude's username history has been through it. Was good, manly OP strongman37. Anyways, Hazem would release his first game in 2019 called Hazem's Builds, and it goes to show just how early Hazem dove into Roblox development and building. And also, just a small side note, I want to give huge credit to Olix for these images in the original video idea, as a few of these games aren't directly on Hazem's profile, and I couldn't find them online. So shout out to him for that. The link to his channel will be in the description. As for his activity between 2019 and 2021, it seems as though Although Hazem didn't really do anything substantial on Roblox in terms of creating games, but I'm sure he kept honing his scripting and building skills throughout this downtime. This brings us to 2021, the years I consider to be the foundation of Hazem's career. Releasing titles such as The Compliment Game, a game that quite literally just insults you every time you click, Music Maker, a fun intuitive music tool where you can make your own beats by just clicking squares, and Two Truths and a Lie, a classic game reimagined on Roblox. Hazem was starting to become a unique thinker, approaching game development from a different angle than many other devs, which would be an invaluable tool for his eventual rise to fame. He further demonstrated this through the release of Disk in Roblox, a game where you could actually type within Roblox and it would send messages in a Discord server. This game would allow people to message within Discord without having to leave or tab out of Roblox, but unfortunately, a Discord API update stopped this project in its tracks before it had a chance to fully flourish. And speaking of Discord, you guys should definitely join mine in the description and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, throughout all these releases, Hazem hadn't had any major success, but this was about to change with his first viral hit, a game called Type Racer. Type Racer was a super fun game that allowed Roblox players to flex their typing skills while racing their friends. When a few YouTubers began to make videos on the game, it would go on to be Hazem's first game to gain any sort of traction. Even with the success brought on by various content creators, Type Racer truly began to shine when Hazem released the game's Squid Game update. Week after week, Hazem would post another tweet thanking the players and showing off new player count milestones. After the Squid Game hype has largely died down, the game has plateaued as of late, but it still has over 10 million visits and continues to have a small but active player base. After a few more smaller releases, it's now February 7th, 2022. The day Hazem released the game that would change his life forever. He would announce it in a tweet stating, I made a stand game where you can have others tip and donate at your stand or donate to other stands. Please donate was an instant success. In fact, after only two days, the game's player count skyrocketed to almost 1,000 players virtually overnight. And what's mind-blowing to me is that the game took off without any in-game advertising. This was just completely organic. Please Donate appealed to players because it finally offered a solution other than clothing stand games where players could easily donate and receive Robux. Not even two weeks after the game was released, Hazen tweeted a shocking image showing that Please Donate had been content deleted by Roblox. The game that had shot up to over 10,000 concurrent 
players in a week was now unplayable. However, Hazm didn't let this discourage him, and to the community's relief, Please Donate was back later that day. Now here is where things started to get absolutely crazy for Hazm. Please Donate was attracting the attention of dozens of massive YouTubers. And on February 25th, the largest Roblox YouTuber Flamingo released the first of many Please Donate videos on his channel, and Please Donate went ballistic. YouTubers like Dennis Daly, Creekcraft, Alvin Blocks, Project Supreme, and more all uploaded videos playing the game, each bringing their own massive audiences. So many people were joining that they actually ended up breaking the game, another issue which Hasm proceeded to promptly fix. It seemed like everyone was trying to get a chance at Robux riches, and Please Donate's player counts directly reflected that. The game went on to reach over 30 million visits in its first month, and after a few more small issues with Roblox, Hasm began to add the first of many donation effects, the nuke. This effect triggers when someone donates 100k or more Robux, and it was safe to say a new trend was in the making. YouTubers began nuking their viewers. Hasm began nuking YouTubers. It was a massive circle of donations that in the end resulted in hundreds of millions of people seeing Please Donate. And this was all leading up to what would be Hasm's biggest giveaway yet. But more on that later. People would AFK all day in hopes of receiving massive donations or even just to collect enough to allow them to buy their favorite UGC items. And all the while, Hazm was collecting 10% of every donation made with him. his game. Around a month or so later, the second of Hazm's famous donation effects was added to the game. Titled The Smite, it was essentially a massive rendition of the donator's avatar smashing down a giant hammer on every Please Donate server. It's now July 22nd, and Please Donate has made Hazm hundreds of millions of Robux. Dude is likely the richest dev on the platform, and a tweet popped up from his alt account stating as follows. I make games, and I've kept it a secret from my parents for years now. Now, and I want to tell them, but I'm really nervous. What should I do? This essentially confirmed that Hazm, an individual with millions of dollars worth of Robux, hadn't told his parents. I mean, I get it. Trying to explain the small amount in comparison I've made off YouTube to my parents was a struggle, so I can't imagine having to explain how millions of dollars essentially came out of thin air. Overall, the community was extremely supportive, and everyone backed him up, reassuring him that if he told his parents, things would work out in the end. Now, here's where the story everyone has heard typically ends. Most people when receiving this sort of success would grow complacent, whether they stop updating their games or just get plain lazy. Hazm was exactly the opposite. This guy has to be one of the most innovative minds Roblox has ever seen, and he has quite literally reinvented the wheel several times. Hazm continued to do things people had never seen on Roblox before, including buying an entire billboard in Times Square, the advertising capital of the world. Hazm tweeted out a few days prior that the most liked tweets would end up on the billboard, and he came through on his promise. On February 18th, the advertisement went live, and Twitter went crazy as the billboard ran for the next 48 hours periodically. The third and final Please Donate effect added so far was brought on April 2nd, 2023. Hazm gave away 10 million Robux in his Discord in an effort to bring hype to the new effect, and it did not disappoint. Over 30,000 people entered Hazm's giveaway, myself included, all looking for a chance at that sweet 10 million Robux prize. The eventual winner, a guy named Lean, was drawn but did not respond fast enough so the giveaway was re-rolled and the infamous individual titled Moot won. I say infamous because not even a day after receiving his prize, Moot said in a message on April 3rd and I quote, Devex will give me a payout of 25.5k but that's not that much so I'm thinking of selling it on eBay for 10k. Imagine being handed over 20 $25,000 and saying that's just not enough. Moot was subsequent.
Frequently banned from the Discord, and Roblox developer relations ended up moderating the shirt Hasm purchased, which resulted in Moot getting zero Robux and Hasm being refunded. It just goes to show how people let greed get the better of them. Like if that's me, I'm taking the 25 grand and I am grateful. I think my boy Moot needs to learn a little lesson in gratitude. It was in April 2023 that Roblox released one of the most controversial policy updates ever, now no longer allowing gift cards to be redeemable between various countries. This was especially damaging for YouTubers who live in a different country than their main audience. Where other people saw problems, Hasm saw an opportunity and immediately came up with a solution. Hasm.gg. Hasm.gg is a website where you can enter in codes given out through various giveaways or puzzles across social media in exchange for Robux. You enter your username and the code into the site, and then Hasm's alt account with millions of Roblox automatically searches up your account and buys the respective game passes. This was revolutionary as it offered a unique solution for developers and content creators alike. It also triggered what I would consider to be the next big wave of please donate going viral on Twitter. Hasm created codes for tons of massive content creators and began handed them out. It created a sort of scavenger hunt feel for players as any tweet could be a sort of cryptic message unlocking a code that would give thousands of Robux. I myself am guilty for trying more than a few but who can blame me when the Robux situation is looking like this right now. This renewed interest in Please Donate as a whole and directly contributed to the game averaging over 25,000 concurrent users to this day. Hasm's creative ideas are still evident now as just this past week he uploaded a game titled Dice. In Dice you can roll a dice and receive a code for 20 Robux times the amount you rolled. Not so bad for clicking a single button. To conclude, I think it's fairly easy to see just how much of an impact Hasm has had in the community in only two years. While Hasm has received his fair share of criticism, with many people suggesting he only donates to big names, I think this is an absolutely ignorant opinion, as Hasm does streams every few months where he donates hundreds of thousands of Robux to dozens of random people. He's earned the respect of dozens of creators, developers, and players alike, and I hope he has a long and prosperous career ahead of him. You've got to remember, this entire Robux empire came all at the hands of a 16 year old kid and I have huge respect for how Hasm has navigated all this fame so far. Now with that being said, this is the story of Roblox's youngest millionaire. 